Right, hello everybody and welcome to Voodoo Detective. This one is a brand new point and click adventure game, something that actually came out to my attention uh, quite recently. I had no idea about this one and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the publisher for actually contacting me and telling me about it. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to really, really enjoy this one. Uh, this one is going to feature some really gorgeous hand-drawn animations and uh, environments and you guys know that that is kind of my uh, favorite style of uh, point and click adventure games that I really enjoy playing. So without further ado, if you all enjoy what you see here and want to grab games for yourselves, check out the link down below in the description as I always provide for all the games that I feature on this channel here. And uh, let's just jump into it and see what it's all about. Let's do this. Alright, there we have it. Look at this. I knew it. I should describe myself. <laughs> I should describe myself. Tough, sensitive, uh, shrouds. Um... How are we? Let's go with. Yeah, let's have him tough. I'm a tough voodoo detective. <laughs> I'm a tough voodoo detective. What am I looking for? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't need to put out a personal ad. <sighs> Why did I let my brother talk me into moving here? This town needs saving, he said. Restless spirits, he said. Oh, well, I can't blame them with all the damn tourists here. I feel pretty restless myself. <laughs> this town's got all the charm of a burning outhouse. Whoa, this actually looks pretty good. Look at that. Short Sleeve Studios presents Voodoo Detective. Um, I'm actually loving this. Uh, uh, look at this. Just my luck. <laughs> I better poke around for something to help me put this fire out. Well, what do you mean this fire out? The fire is just <laughs> it's just the foreground. Oh, that's hot. Okay, so we cannot advance that way. Uh, hold up, do I have anything in my inventory? Use single tap, combine, and... I mean, I don't have any... Oh my god, the phone call is also... Uh, I cannot get to the telephone. Can I maybe use the fan to uh, turn off the fire? It's my number one fan. <laughs> my number one it's fan. It's my number one fan. Are you kidding me? How the heck am I going to turn off the fire? Oh, that's hot. Mm, uh, we got some masks over here. Window... This town has all the charm of a burning outhouse. <laughs> the charm of a burning outhouse. I can't leave while my office is on fire. Um, how do I put up the fire then? We got a skull here, my desk, my telephone, of course, a bookcase. Is there anything behind the bookcase? I like having books in my office for some light no. reading. Homer. Aeschylus, Euripides, Aristophanes, Herodotus. Just kidding. They're mostly spy novels. All right, buddy. I've got to find a way to put this fire out before my office burns down. I mean, that's what I'm trying to do, but I have no idea what you want me to do because you have nothing in your inventory. Um, so, how do I put up the fire? Um, let me check the mask. I don't know. It's a mask representing Baron Samdi. A voodoo demigod. He's the lord of the underworld and one of the most powerful Loa. I like to keep him close. I find it comforting somehow. Alright, what about the Papa Legba mask? It's a mask representing Papa Legba, a voodoo demigod. He's one of the most powerful Loa and arbiter between humanity and the spirit realm. There's a hidden switch behind the mask. Ooh, there we go. Ah, we got a bar back here. Are you kidding me? So that's what we got to use, of course, to turn off the um, My fire. Bottle. That fire is about to have a toe tag and a ticket to the big <laughs> adios. Love it. All right, we got a uh, salsa bottle. Let me go ahead and grab it and use it over here in the fire. <laughs> this is so weird, though. Are you kidding me? Look at that. <laughs> the text actually is all burned out. Oh man, I'm loving the animations. That That's is so cool. <laughs> All right, we finally can go ahead and uh, answer the phone. Voodoo detective speaking. How may I help you? Yes, that's my real name. No, I don't detect voodoo. I practice voodoo and use hoodoo to detect. It's right on the sign. No problem. Take care. <laughs> what was that? Uh, oh, somebody's coming in. So apparently we got a phone call because somebody wants to chat with us. Hold up, let's see what it's all about. Oh. If you're from the fire brigade, 
You're a little late. Are you Voodoo Detective? That's my name, unless they changed it while I wasn't looking. What's this about, Miss... If you don't mind, I'd like to save the introductions for later, Mr. Detective. I have a rather strange case that may be well suited to a man of your talents. That is, if you do do voodoo. You do do <laughs> voodoo, don't you? He do. You don't do voodoo, ma'am. Why don't you come in and sit down and show some respect? <laughs> Man, I'm absolutely enjoying this, especially the voice acting. It's really, really good. Now, suppose you tell me about it from the very beginning. I need your help, detective. All right, I need we what? You to find out who I am. We what? Find out who I am. So maybe somebody did some voodoo oh, to her and on. she forgot? I, I swear this never happens. <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to now get rid of the voodoo text? <laughs> uh, this is funny. <clears throat> what do you mean, find out who I am? If you're looking for a shrink, that's not really the kind of soul searching I do. I mean, I've lost my memory. Yep, I knew it. You may not understand, but it's rather precious to me, and I'd like it recovered. Uh, what do you remember? What have you found out? And uh, why not see a doctor? Let's go with what do you remember? You lost your memory, huh? Did you check the couch cushions? Is this <laughs> some kind of joke to you? Take it easy, lady. You haven't given me much to work with. Is there anything you do remember? What are you doing? Just a little examination. Oh, okay. Um, this is going to sound strange. I don't know if you'll believe me. It doesn't matter what I believe. You go on with your story. Well, the very first thing I remember was standing at a crossroads. I'm not sure where. But it felt somehow both familiar and foreign at the same time. Like the memory of a dream. There was no. This looks really strange, though. She spoke to me. I believe this belongs to you. I was confused. I couldn't remember ever having seen the pendant before. In fact, I couldn't remember anything. He seemed to understand. Don't worry, child. A little sleep and you'll be back to your old self again. My head started to swim and I blacked out. When I woke, I was lying in a bed I didn't recognize. In a life I didn't recognize. Around my neck was the pendant from my dream and in my hand, your business card. What? I never printed any business well, cards. Well, that is not weird at all. You mind if I take a look? By all means. Hmm. Oh. Well, Seriously? that's not normal. That is so cool. Um, let's go with... What have you found out? So you don't have any idea who you might be? I've learned, or at least I've been told, that my name is Mary Fontoul. My husband... Victor Fontoul is the president of Island Ventures. We live in a mansion outside of town with our butler, Benny. We've been married for 10 years and we're very happy together. And you don't believe a word of it. <laughs> I may have lost my memory, detective, but I haven't lost my intuition. This woman I'm supposed to be, Mary Fontoul, it's not me. And what if you're wrong? Then you'll have made a bit of money, and I'll walk away a confused rich woman. Right. Uh, why not see a doctor? Why not see a doctor? Why come to me? Believe me, I've seen all the best doctors money can buy. The popular opinion is that it's stress. Well, I'm not one to knock the other guy's merchandise. But you could have saved some time coming here first. <laughs> All right, and lastly, pendant. You said the old man gave you a pendant. Do you have it with you? 
Yes, here. If it helps the investigation, please keep it. The investigation? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I still need more information before I agree to take the case. All right, payment. Let's say I am interested. Do you remember how to use a checkbook? I can offer you a $200 advance and another $200 on completion, plus expenses. Money is not an issue. Can you help me out? Or do I need to find someone else? Um, I'll take the case. Well, all right, sweetheart. For that kind of cabbage, I'd boo to investigate most anything. <laughs> Consider me hired. Of course, she said two hundred dollars, but I, I think. I don't mind uh, telling you that comes as a relief to me. What's Here's happening here is way, way back, which means two hundred dollars is a lot of money. I have a good feeling about you. Save your feelings for book club, honey. You know, you better keep that shirt button, detective. I wouldn't want your big old heart falling out. <laughs> I'll be careful, be heart. Voodoo doll face. How can I get in touch if I need to talk with you about the case? If you need me, I'm staying at the Chic Shell Hotel. Please come see me if you make any progress. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that and was, detective. Uh, interesting. Yes. Yeah. Don't call me Voodoo Doll Face. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. What a knockout! A dame like that could give a zombie a heart attack or a Voodoo Detective a real <laughs> what? headache. That is the first time I hear I that. Mail my personal ad and then go get my book of Voodoo back from Billy. A dame like that could give a zombie a voodoo a uh, heart attack. That was awesome. Um, let me see if I can check the skull here. Ooh. One new message. Oh, this is like a <laughs> seriously. One. Hey, it's Ronnie, your landlord. I still haven't received this month's rent from you. You're new in town, so I'm cutting you some slack. But if I have to call you again, I'm not going to be as friendly. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks. <laughs> and oh my god. Message. This is so funny. All right. Uh, what about the desk? I can barely see my desk under all these bills. Oh, these are all bills? Nice Seriously? Desk, though. Nice desk, though. All right. I think, uh, I think we are completely done here. I think all I got to do next is just uh, make my way outside. Yeah, let's just do that. Just grab my coat before I go. Look at this. Are you kidding me? This is like a, a Caribbean world, like a Caribbean island, right? And I absolutely love it. Now we also have the tourists coming over and everything. That is so cool. All right, so this one's going to be the path to the cemetery. Um, I better grab Grammy's book from Billy's. Grammy books from Billy's. And Billy's is right here, actually. Yeah, let me go ahead and grab uh, the book. We are going to investigate this a little That's bit more. my brother's bar. Donut hole Billy's. The last real place on this drag. Oh man, but this looks so cool. All right, where's my brother? Is this my brother? No, I think I think not. No. I'm loving the characters though and everything. So many tourists though. I think this may be my brother. Yeah. No hey, buddy. use trying to talk to Billy while he's in one of his piano trances. There's got to be a way to snap him out of it. Okay. Um. Well, first of all, let me get myself the book. That's my grandmother's book of voodoo. We call her Grammy. She was a legendary mambo. A legendary I mambo. Really ask Billy before I take it. Oh, um, hmm. all right. Uh, what about the author then? Looks like Billy's got a little offering to Papa Legba here. Okay, and I think that's about it. Um, I do see a bucket of water in a glove. Bucket of water. Can I grab that? Never know when you might need a bucket of water. <laughs> Seriously, am I gonna grab it? Yes, I love it. Um, now what about that thing under the chair? I should though? use that bucket of water before I pick up any other heavy objects. Oh, I gotta use the bucket of water first before I pick up anything else. Seriously, is that how this is gonna work? I thought, uh, point and click adventure games, you can actually carry everything with you. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna throw the water at him, am I? I don't know. I guess I can try. Rise and shine. What, seriously? I'm just gonna throw a bucket of water at him while he plays the piano? <laughs> that didn't I work. Guess he's still out of it. <laughs> what was that? All right, uh, what about the chair? I bet I could find a use for this. Wait, am I actually grabbing the chair? Okay, that is not confusing at all. What about the mantle That's then? Odd. 
looks like a metal gauntlet. The sort metal of medieval gauntlet, knife yeah. I wear. I should use that chair first. These what? things are heavy. Wait, are you actually gonna have me use the chair on my bro to wake him up? This hurts me more than it hurts you, <laughs> Billy. Are you kidding me right now, game? What the heck, dude? Still nothing. This is awesome. I love it. All right, let me grab this then. That's odd. Looks like a metal gauntlet. The sort of medieval knight might wear. Could come in handy. I was definitely like expecting this type of um, interaction here where if you do carry a really heavy object in your inventory, you gotta use it first before you get another one. That's interesting. All right, can I use this to wake him up? What did the five metal fingers say to the face? <laughs> hey, something Whoa. fell out of the gauntlet. Ah, harmonica. It's an old harmonica. Like the one I used to play with Billy when we were kids. I get it. You held on to this for me? That is awesome. All these years. So maybe if I play the harmonica along with them, he's gonna wake up? Let's try. If I wanna get through to him, I need to start speaking his language. Wait, what? Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. And the language is music. I'm loving the blues, look at that. Just like old times, hearing that harmonica always brings me back. What's new, Voodoo? Um, uh, what's new? Uh, let's go with questions about the gaze. Um, yeah, let's go with the book, actually, first of all. Do you mind if I borrow Grammy's book? Help yourself. There we go. But I'm surprised awesome. you need it. Must be a real tough case. <laughs> this old book comes in handy more often than you think. All right, question about the case. I've got a new case. Mind if I pick your brain? Go right ahead. Okay, uh, let's ask about... Actually, yeah, let's ask about if he knows Have the lady. Have you ever heard the name Mary Fontoul? Has my baby brother got eyes for some <laughs> lovely lady? Nah, buddy, it's not that. It has to do with the case. Sure, Voodoo. Whatever you say. Wait, Fontoul? Yep. Yeah, Mary Fontoul. I know a Victor Fontoul. Maybe she's related to him. She's his wife. Going after a married woman, eh? Oh, I'm just messing with you. Sorry, I never met her. All right, uh, what about the pendant then? Have you ever seen this pendant? Sorry, I don't go in for any jewelry foolery. Ricky knows more about that sort of thing. Ricky, maybe this guy? You're asking for a hot tip while you sip. Okay, definitely gonna do a little bit of that, yeah, for sure. That's enough shop talk for now. All right, what about Billy? What's happening, Billy? Well, shoot, where to begin? Altar on the piano? What's with the offering on the piano? Something ain't swinging right in the spirit realm. I can't lock down the beat. It's all out of tune. The rhythm's wrong. I figured a little spirits for the spirits couldn't hurt. All right, and hard things then. How have you been? I'm doing all right, brother, especially since you moved here. Although I wish those Island Ventures vultures wouldn't knock such a steady beat on my door. They keep trying to get their tasteless talons into my business. Already own more than half the town. Oh, well, in every life, a little rain must fall. As long as I have occasion to tickle the old ivories, I'm satisfied. All right, buddy. I think uh, we got everything that we we'll need from uh, the brother here. Yeah, I don't think we Wait have anything on. else to ask. All right, bye. See you around, Billy. Come back again soon. And don't forget that harmonica of yours. It always brings me back. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm guessing if he's going to go in a trance again, the only way I'm going to get him back is by using, of course, the harmonica, which I'm pretty sure we still have in inventory, right? Yeah, we still have it. Now, what is this? Spells and recipes. Oh, so this is the book that we just got. Apple of my eye, a love hex. Grammy's Fleming hot sauce. Mine, or nine tenth of the, uh, nine tenth of the Elwa. Possession ceremony. What? Owner honor. 
Poison Pass out. And uh, Thu Brew. The Urn of Soul. Appendix. Wait, what? What is this? Um, Jinan is the land of the dead. Is where all the souls must eventually go to rest. Baron Simity is the land of the... Or the lord of the dead. And a gatekeeper to the underworld. Without him, the dead cannot pass to the final doors to Jinan. He's responsible for making corpses rot in the ground to ensure they don't come back as zombies or most often associated with, uh, with death. Baron Simity is also given of life. And Asen, a calabash rattle used by uh, mambos and humbans in various ceremonies. Govi. Uh, a Govi is a clay urn that acts as a, a retractable for the spirit of the deceased family members. When a person dies, their spirit returns to the land of the Ginnan. However, it is the tradition for the family to recall the spirit of a loved one to the mortal realm where it can offer wisdom and protection. And then we got Huru. Huru is a combination of uh, magic practices and spiritual traditions upheld by some within the Voodoo community. Humfo, Iwa, and, Nam and Mambo. Voodoo is a religion of originated from Africa, characterized by the worship of the pendant, or the pantheon actually, of uh, demigods. See Iwa and one supreme gods. So I'm guessing Iwa is this one. The Iwa are powerful demigods responsible for the various functions of nature. Oh, man. Alright, we're gonna have to learn all this stuff, but first... I'm absolutely loving these paintings though, with the jazz skeletons. All right, let me have a chat with uh, Ricky. Well, if it isn't New Ganin's newest detective, what can I do for you, VD? VD? <laughs> From Voodoo Detective, I love it. Ah, it's been a hell of a day, Ricky. Get me a Voodoo Fizz and make it kick like a mule with hay fever on Mardi Gras. <laughs> you got it. On the house. Look at that. Whoa, are you kidding me right now? That drink has Down a skull in it. <sighs> Delicious. That was awesome. All right, let me see if I can find out more about the panda maybe from this film. Question about the case, question about the locals, uh, how about the tourists, and more, more and pistol. Let's go with more and pistol. Any chance I could borrow your mortar and pestle? Oh, the this thing right here. Trade? Would I ask you for your gree gree and magnifying glass? Oh, whatever it is voodoo detectives use to voodoo detect? <laughs> well, I guess we could make a trade. Uh, make a trade. Hmm. What do you have in mind? I'm running dangerously low on mint leaf. I need it for all the goofy drinks those tourists guzzle down. If you can get me more mint, the mortar and pestle are all yours. Alright, so of course we got another quest here. We gotta find some mint and bring it back to this fella. Uh, how about these tourists? What do you think of all these tourists? Well, you know, I really can't complain. They bring good business to the bar. Okay. The island before tourists, where did they come from? And enough about tourists. Let's go with uh, where did they come from. Where did they all come from? Our quiet little islands become a bit of a hot spot ever since Island Ventures moved in. They set out to commoditize the island experience for package and sale. First it was Island Kitchen, then Island Trader, and now Island Coffee. Sometimes I don't even recognize this town anymore. I don't think they'll stop until this island is just one long line of sweaty tourists shuffling from one island franchise to another. But I can't complain. Like I said, business is good. All right, fella. What was Zawanga like before they showed up? Zawanga? Well, there were a lot fewer Hawaiian shirts and a heck of a lot more character. The main drag used to be a colorful collection of cozy shops and local flavor. Now it's just a tidy row of island brand imitation. They turned a rum on the rocks into a virgin pina colada. Even started tearing down old monuments. The most recent victim was a home foe where island coffee's going up. Now people practicing voodoo like you and your brother don't really have a place to worship. I wonder if I'm going to be able to interact with these tourists, although I'm pretty sure That's not. That's enough about tourists. Alright, uh, question about locals. Yeah. I need the skinny on some of the locals. Of course, VD. What do you want to know? Alright, let me ask about, uh, I guess, Donna Holy Billy? Although I really want to ask about the lady that gave me the case. 
Oh, you know Donut Hole, still tapping his foot and typing out tunes. I'm sure he's pretty fed up with folks trying to take over his bar, but nothing could shade his shine. He's just his wonderful musical self. All right. Thanks for the info, Ricky. In that case, let's ask about the pendant. I'm working a new case. Mind if I grill you? Go right ahead, Mr. Detective. All right, uh, Mary Fontoul. What can you tell me about Mary Fontoul? Or Fontoul, actually, yeah. Fontoul? I only know of Victor Fontoul. He owns Island Ventures. Yeah, everybody just knows him, but not the lady. Have you seen this pendant before? Oh, vintage. Not really my style, but nice piece. Could be an heirloom. Sorry, I've never seen it before. Hmm. All right, so unfortunately, he hasn't really been in any help. Thanks for the info. I was Rick. hoping for a little bit of information no here from problem. him, but anyway, at least we now know that if I do bring him some um, men, he's gonna give me this stuff. See you around, Ricky. All right, that has been solved. Tourist, can I chat with the tourist? I'm not talking to any tourists. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was just trying to test, but I was kind of sure that that is not gonna happen. What about her? I can't stand tourists. All right, buddy, I got the idea. Let's get out of here. So I gotta go looking for some mint, apparently. Um, Island Kitchen coming soon. Island Trader. Hmm. What can we have here? <laughs> Look at that guy in the window. Welcome to Island Trader. An authorized dealer of Island brand products. I'm just gonna look around. Go right ahead, sir. Now, I just noticed the map here. I wonder, I mean, he says junk. Just a bunch of cheap tourist junk. Yeah, definitely not gonna need that. Uh, junk, candy, hold on a minute. Maybe I'm gonna need some they candy? Put the candy where the kids can see. Of course. It's a dirty game. It is, but it works. Uh, we got a shirt rack, uh, shells, cameras, lotion, some lotion, I guess, and more junk on this side. Can I maybe get some sun lotions? I don't know. It doesn't like I can do anything inside the Sun's shop here. Lotion. My hat and coat keep me covered. <laughs> what about the camera then? It's a camera. Nothing. Real beauty too. Oh, I can tell you the image quality is truly remarkable. Plus, we developed the photos right here. Okay, so maybe that's something I'm gonna. Yeah, look at that. Maybe that's something I'm gonna need. Fine. I'll take it. Huh. Great. Thanks for shopping at Island Trader. There's nothing we won't trade for your business. All right. So apparently, I just got myself a camera. Awesome. I I'm not think I'm gonna need it. Any cash for that? All right, all right. That's fine, buddy. I think we got everything that we needed. We got ourselves the camera. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be able to use that for, um, but I gotta find some mints somewhere. We got a kid tourist island kitchen. It's a chain restaurant. Clothes for remodeling. Normally, there's a line around the block. So many tourists around. Look at this. Everywhere, and there's one tourist. All right, let me go to the back here. Path to the Chic Shell Hotel. Whoa, look at this place. I don't see no mint around here though, so um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna be able to give myself some mint. But there's gonna be two entrances, one to the back and one to the front. Hold up, let me check the uh, Chic Shell sign Hotel. here first. Are you a camera slinging, culture sapping, self centered tourist <laughs> looking to be pampered like a baby? You've come to the right place. All right, let me go inside. Let's see what we can find here. If not, I'm gonna take the back, uh, the back entrance, I guess, where that lady's uh, waiting. We got another tourist over here. Fountain. Let's check it out. That fish must like these tourists about as much as I do. <laughs> oh my God! Look at these two. They're so sweaty and tired. <laughs> All right, let's have a chat with this fella. Good day, sir. Checking in? Uh, looking for Mary. I'm looking for a woman staying here named Mary Von Tool. One moment. Uh, yes. We do have a Mary Von Tool staying with us. She checked in the other day. 
A shorter woman with brown hair and brown eyes. Uh, came here alone, paid cash. She's staying in room 203. I believe she's in there now. Uh, but you need a room key to get upstairs. The Chic Shell Hotel takes our guest privacy very seriously. <laughs> they take the privacy very seriously, although they gave me all the information that I asked for without any questions. Uh, I'll take a room. Let me upstairs. Uh, why a room key? You're saying I need a room key to visit a guest? Can I just knock? Like I said, we can't let just anyone upstairs. That's why we require a room key to use the elevator. Every hotel guest is given a spare set to loan out to visitors. That ah, way it's up to them allowed to visit. So, what if I get a room? Can I get a room? Ordinarily, yes. But I'm sorry to say we're all booked up. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Mm, Alright, so we're gonna have to find a way to get us a key, I guess, to get upstairs. How about if I ask real nice? Will you let me upstairs? I'm sorry, sir. I can't let you upstairs if you're not a guest. All right, well, I guess we got to find a different way to get up here, eh? Um, oh, oh, so you can also move really fast if you want to. <laughs> what about these two? Poor guys. And of course, we cannot use the elevator without a key, right? So, uh, let me make my way to the back, the restaurant here. Good day, sir. What can I do for you? Uh, food. I'll take a meal for one and drinks for two. Great. Find yourself a table and I'll be right with you. A meal for one and drinks for two. What the heck? Uh, swimming pool, open table. I guess... Yeah, I guess we just gotta sit here, right? There we go. Can I get you anything? Uh, what's on the menu? What's on the menu? Well, let's see. We have our macadamia nut crusted mahi-mahi bites. There's the steamed miso Thai snapper. Our special today is poisson cru, made using deadly fugo fish. For drinks, we have the mighty mango mojito, our marooned martini, and our most popular drink, the voodoo wipeout punch. Wow, so many things that we can actually order. I was not expecting to actually be able to order all this stuff. Um, about and I don't even know exactly what to get just yet. Certainly. I'm well, most certainly going to need this stuff, right? At one point. Mari Mari, uh, Voodoo Punch? I'll have the Voodoo Punch. Very good choice. Bon appetit. Where'd you get that huh. drink? <laughs> Why, from our bar, of course. And you were just carrying it in your jacket? <laughs> they don't what? call it a bar coat for nothing. <laughs> uh, that was awesome. Huh. Something to eat, maybe? How about Let's try? Rub. Yes, sir. What would you like? I have a feeling I'm going to have to combine these things somehow at one point, but at the moment, I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm doing. Take the special. Excellent choice. And she's going to get Good it out, out of her pocket. Look at that. <laughs> Love it. Whoa. That is huge. Are you kidding Where me? Where did you get that food? <laughs> Why, from our kitchen, of course. And you just had it in your coat? They don't call it a dinner jacket for nothing. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that hit the spot. This fish looks amazing. All right, never mind. Actually, I think I'm good. Please let me know if you need anything. Mm. Now, apparently this fish is still here. Can I maybe grab it and use it? Yeah, look at that. Fugo fish carcass. It's the carcass of the Fugo fish, I ordered. Looks like the poison gland's still in there. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Ah, uh, that's what I needed. So I needed the Fugo fish glands because if I go back to the recipes here, uh, we do have a poison pass out in, uh, recipe. I get it. So we just needed the Fugo fish glands and your favorite treat. What the heck is that? And combine a tasty snack with toxin from a fugo fish gland. Warning, fugo toxin is deadly on empty stomach. When sun has set upon the eve and sleep will nick the ribbon sleeve, the fugo gland beneath the grill or the gill makes any meal a sleeping pill. So apparently I also have to get myself a fairy treat. And then I'm going to probably have to combine the fugo fish gland here with that. Um, well, I guess we got an inventory at the moment. I was not expecting that, but uh, apparently I got it right. Alright, in that case, 
let me get out of here. As I'm trying still to find some sort of mint somewhere. So we got the law building. Ooh, we can climb the rooftop. Huh. Interesting. The grill is screwed in place. I can hear someone shuffling papers in the office below. Probably gonna need something to open that up, but uh. I need to find out who gave Mary that pendant. Might be time to crack open Grammy's book. Might be time to crack open the Grammy's book. I need book. to find ah. out who gave Mary that pendant. Might be time to crack. All right. The thing is, I did open this up, but I'm not sure exactly what I gotta do. Return to an item to its owner. What? Possession, delicious hot sauce, a love hex. And a through brew. Hot water. Dragon heart plumeria. Steep the petals of a uh, centurial dragon heart plumeria in hot water. Hmm. We got the urn of soul. And appendix. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused here. I'm not sure exactly what I gotta do. Uh, let me keep on looking around. Let's see if I gotta find something. Uh, Path to Fortune Estate. So this is gonna be the uh, house to get to her, to her husband, I guess. Enter the greenhouse. Oh, you know what? Mm, it's locked. Greenhouse is locked. I'll need to find a key. So maybe inside the greenhouse is where I'm gonna be able to get myself that mint. I'm pretty sure about it. But for now. Let's keep on looking around. Man, this guy's loaded. He's got a garden and a zoo. <laughs> look at these topiaries. They look awesome. Man, this guy's loaded. All right, let's keep on going then. Uh, can I maybe go inside the house? Good day, sir. How can I help you? The name is Voodoo Detective. I'm a Voodoo private investigator. Voodoo, you say? What, may I ask, brings you here? Actually, I'm looking for a Mr. Fontoul. Victor Fontoul. That you? Nope. He's just oh, a butler. no, sir. I'm Benny, his butler. This is the Fontoul residence, but I'm afraid Mr. Fontoul is in a meeting at the moment. Perhaps you could come back another time. All right, uh... I'm not waiting. Let's go. I'm not waiting. That's all right. I don't mind waiting inside. <laughs> I don't mind waiting inside. Look Mr. at that. Mr. Fontoul should be finished presently. Okay. Well, I guess uh, we just got to wait here. But of course, not just wait. We got to look around, right? Um. So let's see what we can find out then. Looks like someone's afraid of the dark. <laughs> huh. Now I wonder what I can investigate right here because apparently the it's butler a is still here. Of a fancy man. Okay. Butler's quarters. Of course I'm not gonna be able to go inside there, right? Oh, never mind. Apparently I can actually go inside this guy's house, uh, room. Weird. And he really likes to drink by the looks of it. I think it's Leopold. Alright, what about the drinks? Empty. Looks like Benny Boy's been drinking more sherry than the Queen. <laughs> more sherry than the Queen. Uh, desk. Oh, there's a letter. There's a letter here addressed to Benny. Tear stains have blotted out some of the words. Benny, you have to stop. I don't know what he would do if he found... Besides, I can't just forget the way you treated me. I don't know what you're getting at. Hoodoo. You're scaring me. I'd like to remain friends, but you have to stop. Sincerely, I wonder if Mary wrote this. What? It was also something about Hulu there. Tear stained litter. Hmm, bookcase. Opera records and romance novels. There's also handwritten sheet music. It says Benny and the Jest. A ballad about how my love life has been one grand joke. Interesting. So that is something about love. And I have a feeling, if I'm not mistaken, I do have a potion here about love, which is this one, a love hex. Get a token of sweetness from the yearning lover, a handwritten signature from the lover pursued, and the core apple in which to combine them. 
half the apple and serve to the bath parties, or both parties actually. What inside effects may include deafness, dumbness, blindness, and excessive grand thoughts. Um, thoughts actually. Pretty sure the letter is what we needed to get uh, from him here, right? Interesting. And that is about everything. Um, yeah, I don't see anything else we gotta interact with here. So I think the letter may actually be everything that I needed. Alright, in that case, let me have a little bit of chat with the butler. Let's try to find more about him. Mr. Fontule should be finished presently. Oh, okay, so we cannot chat with him just yet. Hmm, interesting. Well, at least I got the letter there. Um... Pretty sure he's not gonna allow me to go upstairs, right? Listen, you old yeah. Viper. Wait, what? I've stuck my neck out for you financing this new factory of yours. All right, all right. Calm yourself, dear boy. No need to get excited. Well, if I'm excited, it's your fault. <laughs> Quid pro quo, Victor, you slippery worm. I don't like all this cloak and dagger nonsense. Just a little professional discretion, Gordon. We don't want anyone stealing our recipes, do we? Discretion? I don't care a fig for your discretion. I care about what's being done with my money. <laughs> Be at ease, my friend. I'll explain it all at the shareholders' meeting. For now, please trust that things are progressing on schedule and as planned. <laughs> I don't like being left in the dark, Victor. I don't like it at all. You'd better have some answers next time we meet. Alright, so I'm guessing Victor is this guy, the tall guy up here. What does this guy keep on sniffing? Sir, a voodoo detective is here to see you. A detective? Voodoo detective, Mr. Fontoul. I was hoping we could talk. I see. Well, why don't you join me in my office? Alright, let's go. Let's see what it's all about. And after this, I'm probably gonna have a little bit of chat with Benny here once we're done with uh, Mr. Fontoul. Look at this place. I do apologize for the excitement out there. When in business, one must deal with all sorts of people. Especially when you require funding. What was that argument about? Well, Island Ventures subsidiary, Island Kitchen, is preparing to launch a new line of food. I'm holding the cards pretty close to my chest to avoid any leaks. Gordon doesn't like that. But surely that has nothing to do with why you've come to see me. Unless you, too, wish to inquire about the particulars of our new secret recipes? I'm here on behalf of my client, your wife. Mary? My God, I've been worried sick. Is she all right? She'd been acting like a completely different person, and then she just up and left. Hmm, uh, let's go with about Mary. I've got some questions about your wife. Uh, please, go ahead. Oh my god, uh, so many questions. Look at that. Pendant, Mary passed. Who'd hurt Mary? Mary's friend and anyone new in Mary's life? Was Mary spending time with anyone new prior to her memory loss? Not that I know of. My work requires frequent travel, and Mary always insists on joining me. Couple that with her proclivity for solitude, and she isn't left with much opportunity to make new acquaintances. At least, none that I would be unaware of. Interesting. All right, Mary's friends, maybe. Does Mary have any close friends? Mary keeps largely to herself, uh, but she does visit with my nephew's wife on occasion. Her name is Kiki Lawton. All right. Uh, who is uh, Mrs. Lawton? What do you know about Mrs. Lawton? Kiki is the wife of my nephew, Theodore, but I'm afraid I don't know her very well. Uh, contact Kiki? Do you know how I can reach Mrs. Lawton? I know Kiki and Mary often enjoy brunch together at the Chic Shore restaurant. You might try there. Hmm, so maybe I can get him to uh, have lunch. If I don't you know. Don't mind. I've got other questions. Alright, um. This? Do you know of anyone who would want to harm Mary? Heavens no. Everyone loves Mary. She's kind and good. She never bothers anyone. A mind would have to be truly unhinged to harm a sweet, delicate flower like Mary. 
All right, buddy. Uh, what about Mary's past? What did you know about Mary's past? I'm afraid very little. I know both of Mary's parents died when she was young, and she has no siblings. But she doesn't like to talk about her past, and I don't wish to reopen old wounds. And the pendant? Mary was given this pendant around the time she lost her memory. Look familiar? Why, yes. She brought it to me shortly after her memory trouble began. We never were able to find out where it came from. Do you think it has anything to do with her amnesia? I don't know yet. Alright, well, um, I'm definitely gonna That's have to look around a little bit here. I also see a picture of Mary and him. I'm guessing, right? Uh, about you. Do you mind if I ask some personal questions? Go right ahead. You've amassed quite the fortune. Got any greedy-eyed next of kin looking for a slice of inheritance pie? <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. The only family I have aside from Mary is my nephew, Theodore Lawton. He runs a law practice downtown and works as my lawyer. And if you and Mary were out of the picture, he would stand to inherit quite a lot of lettuce, right? Are you suggesting that Theodore is trying to kill my wife? I'm not suggesting anything. Just exploring possibilities. Interesting. You definitely have to go to the uh, lawyer there and have a little bit of chat with him as well. Do you know of anyone who might want to do you harm? Someone who might go after your wife to get to you? In business, one has many competitors. And of course, if you're successful, there are bound to be those who look on with covetous eyes. But business is about optimizing profit, detective. And there is no profit in harming a man's wife. All right. Um, That's enough I guess. about you for now. I'm, I think if I'm not mistaken, that is a factory all the way in the middle of the island there on that map, I think. Can you let me into the greenhouse? Oh, that's how I'm My gonna get myself the. Manages the grounds here. Uh, you'll have to ask him about it. Okay. Though he has become a bit more particular about whom he lets in, since his tiff with the local barman. Tiff with the local barman? Seriously? So as I was saying, I'm guessing that's how I'm gonna get my hands on that mint that I was trying to that's get for the now. barman. Godspeed, detective. All right. Interesting. Now, this guy has quite a lot of stuff, including the photo, Looks of like course. like a wedding photo. Ah, yep. what a happy day that was. Bloom of the peach, blush of the berry. My sweet, sweet berry. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, what about this? You've got quite the collection here. I don't even know what most of this stuff is. Ah, yes. Those are from the old days before Island Ventures. I used to travel all over the world, collecting bits and bobs from hither and yon. I find different cultures completely fascinating. It's a bit of a hobby. All right, buddy. Now, uh, what about the map? This kind of map of a place the called Ventures interesting. Island. That's right. Island Ventures has big plans for Ventures Island. Hmm. Interesting. And it kind of looks like that is about. It. Of course, we also have a fireplace here and some really I need curious. Need to find out who gave Mary that pendant. My be time to nope. crack Hold up, buddy. Grammy. I just wanted to check the fireplace. Nothing compliments a hot day like a roaring fire. Except <laughs> perhaps a trench coat. Alright, what about the curiosities here? You this is kind of the, the collection last here. thing that I want to check. I don't even know what most of this stuff is. Alright, never mind. Ah, yes. I used to travel all over. I find... All right, buddy. Well, I think we got everything that we needed. Uh, next up, I think what I'm going to need. Um, next up, I think we're going to have to have a little bit of chat here with Benny. And hopefully, he's going to allow me to go inside the greenhouse and uh, get myself some mint. But at the same time, we're also going to have to probably do the um, hex here. The apple of my eye hex on him somehow. But in the meantime, thank you all very much for watching the first episode of Voodoo Detective. If you all enjoyed this and want to see more like this in the future, do make sure you hit on that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new here. And I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye, everybody.